back to my channel. Today, this video is going to show you how to sketch piecewise functions. When sketching graphs of piecewise functions, we need to sketch the graphs of the function separately. Then keep the part of each graph based on the interval of the values of x. Then combine the graphs at the same axis. Now we look at this example. The function f of x is defined as the piecewise function here. Now we can see that the value of x in this piecewise function is divided into three intervals. So first we need to sketch each of the curve according to each of the interval. Then after that we combine all the three curves together in order to find the final curve of the piecewise function. So first we sketch the graph of the first interval which is from negative 3 to 2. In this interval it is y equals x squared. So we sketch the graph of y equals x squared and this one is the quadratic function and it is a u shape. Next we need to find out when the value of x is negative 3 so we sub into the equation we find that y is 9 when x it is equal to 2 y is equal to 4 now we mark all the value here into the graph when x is negative 3 y is 9 when x is 2 y is now we look at this point this point when we look at the interval there is a stroke here means negative 3 is included in this interval when the point is included in the interval means when sketching the graph we need to use a solid point to represent that 3 is included in the interval. Now for x equals to 2, we see that there is no slot here means 2 is not included in the interval so we need to use an empty circle to represent that 2 is not included in this interval. Now when we combine this graph to the final curve, the part of the graph which is in this interval is taken. So the part of the curve which is in the interval negative 3 to 2 here will be taken. Now next we go to the second interval which is when x is equal to 2. We find that y is only a value which is equal to 5. Means that it's a coordinate point. So means we only need to plot the point. Since that is a point so we use a solid dot to represent the point. Next for the interval for the value of x from 2 to 4 the graph is y equals 8 minus x. So this is a linear graph, so we need two points when x is equal to 0, so y is 8, when y is equal to 0, x is 8. So we join these two points to get the graph of this linear. So next we need to find when x is equal to 2 we sub into the formula so y is 6 when x is 4 y is 4 now we mark all this value in the graph 
x is 4, y is 4. When x is 2, y is 6. Then for the value of x equals 2, since here we don't see any slot here, means 2 is not included in this interval and 4 is included in this interval. So when plotting the graph, so 2 we use an empty circle, 4 we use a solid circle. So when we combine, we only need to take the part of the graph which is in between this interval. So next, now we combine all the graph together in the same graph. So when we combine, First, we mark all the important points from these three graphs. Now, for the x-axis, 2, 4, and negative 3. Now, we start from the first curve, the point negative 3 and 9. That is a solid circle here. And the point 2 and 4, it is an empty circle because not included. So now we need to put in this part of curve in order to get the final piecewise function. Next, when x it is 2, y it is 4, it is a dot. Then the final one, when x is 2, y is 6, empty circle. When x is 4, y is 4, solid circle. Then this is the part of the curve we need to take. So after that, when we combine all the three graphs together, so this is the final graph for this piecewise function f of x. Now we go to the next example. The function f of x is defined as the piecewise function here. So first we need to do is we need to sketch the curve of each of the interval given according to the piecewise function here. So first, for the interval for x less than 1, the graph is y equals 3 minus 2x power 2. And by using the method that we have learned before, that is transformation method, we know that the shape of the curve is an N shape with the Y intercept is 3 and X intercept is positive. One is positive square root of 3 over 2 and the other one is negative square root of 3 over 2. Then we need to look at the critical point when X is equal to 1. So when we sub x equals 1 into the equation, we found that y is equal to 1. So now we need to mark all this value into the graph. And we know that square root of 3 over 2 is approximate as 1.22. So means when we want to mark 1, so 1 should be on the left hand side of this x intercept. So now 1 is on the left hand side then means when x is 1, y is 1. Then since 1 is not included so we use an empty circle to represent that x equals 1 is not included then the interval is less than 1 so this is the region that we need to take when combined with the other 
to graph. So next, that is for the interval for the value of x in between 1 to 2. So in this interval, y is equal to 1. So when y equals 1, that is a horizontal straight line from the value of x equals 1 up to value of x equals 2 and y equals 1 so this is horizontal straight line and uh, 1 is included we use a solid circle 2 is not included so we use empty circle then we go to the interval x greater than 2 so y is equal to 2x minus 1 so this one is a straight line that is linear function so when sketching linear function we need two point that is one is y intercept one is x intercept so when x equal to zero y intercept is negative one when y is equal to zero x intercept is one over two now we join these two points with a straight line that is the curve and this interval we need to know when x is equal to 2 when we sub x equal to 2 into the equation we find that y is equal to 3 so we mark this value in this curve so when x is equal to 2 y is equal to 3 and we see here we know that x is equal to 2 is included into this interval so we use a solid point to represent and the region that we will take is x greater than 2 now we can combine these three graphs together in order to get the final curve for this piecewise function First, we label the x-axis and y-axis. For y-axis, 1, 2, and 3. For x-axis, 1, and 2. So first, we go to the first curve. It starts from when x equals 1. It is an empty circle and we take the graph which is on the left hand side that is x less than 1 then we go to second graph we take the region x equals 1 up to x equals 2 that is a horizontal straight line graph number 3 when x greater than 2 but when x equal to 2 y is equal to 3 and the graph which is greater than 2 that is the graph we need to take so this is the graph for y equals 2x minus 1 and this is the graph for y equals 1 and this is y equals 3 minus 2x power 2 so finally, this is the final graph for this piecewise function.